Hey, good morning guys. So let's talk about my problem with Amazon Prime Day. Or days. Amazon has made it plural. <laughs> it's now two days. It's probably the most profitable day of the year. Very lucrative day. Except for it's not the most profitable day of the year for Amazon. It's the most lucrative day of the year for a lot of media companies. Yeah, believe it or not, the most profitable day for most, especially new digital media companies, Amazon Prime Day. That's because of Amazon's marketplace, their affiliate links. Amazon will give a cutback, a little bit of money for anybody that leads them to buying a product on Amazon. And media companies have a large audience, often that are young and have a little disposable income. And media companies recognize, well, hey, if we can funnel our audience towards Amazon for Amazon Prime Day and get them to spend money, we'll make a lot of money in affiliate marketing. So they do. In fact, a lot of media companies spend their entire June and early July planning around Amazon Prime Day making videos, posts, articles, quizzes, any kind of content that'll lead their viewers towards buying stuff on Amazon. And it works. For a lot of media companies, they make over a million dollars in revenue just on Amazon Prime Day alone. And now that it's two days, we're talking a couple million, two and a half, three million dollars in revenue just in two days alone? That's a big number. But it's funny because we also hear a lot about unions and collective bargaining from uh, digital media startups lately power you know to, to unionize and the need to unionize fight against the corrosive element of capitalism okay but I think probably the workers that need it most might be the Amazon warehouse workers I mean the reporting that's come out we all know their their working conditions aren't so great and Amazon has said they're against unions they oppose collective bargaining and the contractors that Amazon use like XPL logistics those working conditions may be even worse and Amazon warehouse workers are one of the largest new workforces in the industry. We're talking about tens of thousands of employees that operate under pretty poor working conditions, long hours. Yes, they're paid $15, maybe above the minimum wage in your state, but it's not a lot. It's funny, in Germany today, they went on strike. <laughs> they were pretty smart, the Amazon warehouse workers in Germany. They went on a kind of nationwide strike on Prime Day. And we'll see what happens from that. But I find it interesting. For the amount of lip service media pays towards unionizing and collective bargaining, it's important when it comes to them. I should say us. But it's less important when it comes to Amazon warehouse workers. Maybe they'll say it's important. But you, should, you certainly don't hear quite as much about maybe their need to unionize over our need to unionize. There's not maybe as much coverage when it comes to talking about unions for people that need it most. I mean... Let's be honest, the average journalist's job is a lot more comfortable than the average Amazon wor warehouse worker's job is. But then again, the journalists and the media companies make a lot of money from Amazon. So maybe it's better they just kept quiet. Just a thought for you guys today. If you found this moderately interesting, you can click around, like, subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.